In this video, we'll be exploring the idea of absolute extrema and using calculus for an optimization problem. The problem here we have is, suppose you are designing a new soda can that must have a volume of 360 cubic centimeters. What are the dimensions of the can if you want to minimize the surface area? So, a quick sketch always helps me out. It's a soda can. It's a cylinder. So, we will make it the cylinder. We're going to make it easy. We're not going to make a rounded uh, bottom on the, on the can. You know how the, the bottom of a soda can is rounded. But what we will do is just make it like a soup can. Flat on the top and the bottom. Just to make the, the problem a little bit shorter, it's, it's uh, a little bit involved already. So we've got uh, two, two bases, or a base and the top, and the height. So what we have, what we're dealing with, what are the dimensions that we're dealing with, is the radius and the height. Don't say height, it's a height. All right. First of all, to find that, well, let's talk about what we do know. We know the volume. The volume is the area of a base times the height. So that is pi r squared times h. And in our case, that equals 360 cubic centimeters. So what we're going to need to do is solve this equation for one of the variables so that when we go to the surface area equation, we have just one variable. So I'm going to solve this for h. So real quickly, just dividing each side by pi r squared, we get h equals 360 over pi r squared. We'll hang on to that, and we'll get, we're going to come back to that uh, in the end, because we're going to find an r value and then plug it back in for h, and we're going to use it right away. The surface area, the surface area of a cylinder, of a closed cylinder, equals two, two bases, or a top and a bottom, so two times an area of a circle, two circles. We've got this one and this one. So two times pi r squared plus the uh, area around the can, all up and down. So that's going to be the circumference of the base times the height. That's how we're going to get the area of, of the, the part of the can that you hold on to around the can. So the circumference, that's 2 pi r, times the height, which is h. All right, now we're going to take this h and plug it in. This h goes in for this h, or this quantity goes in for this h. So I'm just going to keep writing that right over here. I'll change colors so we don't mix those up. and. I'll say the area equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r times 360 over pi r squared. OK, we can start canceling some stuff out. The pi's cancel. One of the r's cancels. So we have just r to the first power in the denominator. We're left with 2 times 360 divided by r to the first power. So let's rewrite that in terms of just r. The surface area equals 2 pi r squared plus 720. That's the 2 times 360. And I'm not going to make this a fraction because when we when we go to take the derivative, it's going to be easier to see this as r to the negative 1. So I didn't change any values there. I just rewrote this as a, a variable with a negative exponent because 1 over r is the same as r to the negative 1. Now, what we're going to do is this is the function that gives us the area, surface area of the can, uh, in terms of the radius. So we want to minimize, minimize the area. That's what we're asked to do. There's not a V there. Minimize the area. The graph of this function 
in the first quadrant, the graph looks something like this. This is a rough sketch. All right, and somewhere down here, we have a minimum point, a minimum. And that is some value of R gives you a minimum area. Now, we can use calculus to find that that minimum point, that critical point. And, and I'm going to kind of cut to the chase here and say that we know, and, and usually the way these problems go is, we know that the critical point that we find is, is a minimum point. So, because uh, in other videos we talked about testing whether or not it was a maximum or a minimum, but if they're asking, asking us to minimize it, then uh, let's, let's for, for purposes of, of time here, let's just assume that that our critical point is at minimum. So to find a critical point, we have to take the first derivative, and that first derivative is 4 pi r minus, because the negative 1 times 720, minus 720 times r to the negative 2, or se negative 720 divided by r squared. So we will set that equal to 0. So, I'm going to say, I'll change colors here, and I'll say 4 pi r minus 720 over r squared. I just rewrote that. Equals 0. And solving for r, I'm going to cut to the chase here. You can div uh, multiply each side by r squared, and uh, multiply everything by r squared. You get 4 pi r to the third minus 720, and that will give you... In the end, r is approximately equal to, you'd have to take the cube root then to solve, but r is approximately equal to 3.855 centimeters. So I, I skipped over the algebra, but I kind of feel bad about that. So I, I'll just run through it real quickly. If I multiply everything by r squared, I would get 4r cubed, 4 pi r cubed, 4 pi r cubed minus 720, because that cancels out the r squared in the bottom, equals 0. I'm going to add 720 and divide by 4 pi, so I have r cubed equals 720 divided by 4 pi. And then what I'll do is take the cube root of each side, or raise each side to the one-third power. And that is, that's how I got to that 3.855. Okay, I just didn't want to skip over that. And in, and in your calculator, uh, remember to put this exponent in parentheses. Otherwise, it'll raise it to the first power and then divide by 3. And You don't want that. You want it raised to the one-third power. Now, I promised that we would come back to this. We have the radius. We're, we're halfway there. Now we need the, the height. All you have to do is plug in 3.855 in for r, and we'll get it. So let's get a nice new color for the height. The height equals 360 over pi times 3.855 squared. And the height then is approximately equal to 7.7 .7 centimeters. So we have the radius and the height. And I just, I want to clean this up just a little bit because I don't like the numbers all over the place. So I'll say a radius, I'll write the answer here, radius equals 3.9, I'll just round, 3.9 centimeters, and the height it's HT, not TH. The height equals 7.7 .7 centimeters. Now, side note. The problem is done, but a little side note that I thought was interesting. A colleague of mine did this with his class, and they said, hey, why aren't soda cans designed uh, with dimensions like this? They actually wrote into uh, Ball Corporation here in uh, Broomfield, Colorado, and said, why aren't your cans uh, optimized for lowest surface area? And they actually wrote back and they said, you know what, believe it or not, we have done the math. I believe that they have. They said the top 
and the bottom is thicker. The aluminum in those cans is thicker than the aluminum on the sides of the cans. And so they have optimized by cost uh, using as little aluminum as possible because on the top and the bottom the, the aluminum is thicker.